My name is Alex Justice and I've been blowing glass for about three and a half or four years. I wanted to blow glass for a lot longer than that. It was inaccessible for some time and then uh, I ended up, I was throwing pottery and I broke my hand and I couldn't throw pottery and my cousin was blowing glass and he had me over in his shop so that was my first time actually uh, really getting into it I would say and pretty much since that moment on I've just been getting after it as much as I can. Prior to that when I first moved into Eugene I uh, was lucky enough to live down the street from Bob Snodgrass so some of the, he was like one of the first dudes I would watch blow glass uh, which was really inspiring. Yeah it's just been kind of a, an addictive pursuit where I just picked it up and haven't really looked back I guess you could say. The process of thinking about something and then making it becomes like something you try to do like that's that's more the exercise is like thinking of something and then bringing it to life and I want to be making something different and I'll just try to you know take some time and stop and think about something that excites me and I think it is achievable and um, if it meets the right criteria I'll go and actually try to make it and that's a rewarding thing to do and trying to to uh, be more disciplined in that practice, you know, and get ideas out of the head and into glass where other people can see them. To have a, a creative outlet like glass and also have it be your primary source of income, you have to find a balance in um, just exploring and doing whatever you want versus what's something, you know, that you can sell. So sometimes my creative decisions are informed by what I think people will be most interested in consuming and then try to meld as much of uh, whatever it is I'm currently feeling at the time, probably a technique I'm trying to hone in on or uh, something I'm trying to practice. So, um, you know, it's like it's working out or something. You want to test your, test your limits and um, still achieve your goals. The main reason I keep doing it is because there's people that are super excited to own a piece of your glass. I guess you can be your own worst critic a lot of times and sometimes that's the internal di dialogue that I hear is uh, just my own self-criticism going off and then people are stoked to spend um, their hard-earned cash on a piece of your glass and uh, yeah, it's just a great feeling. Yeah.